So look, we're continuing to put you in the holiday spirit with Christmas in July. We're going to do that with a wonderful DIY now that is really going to wow the party guests. And the biggest wow here is Ken Wingard. Yeah. I mean, well, no, no, was oh, all I, the time. I just want a little bit of note that did you hear Santa say I was one of his favorites? I, I did heard hear him that. say that. I did. So I was like cha ching, cha ching, come December yeah. 25th. He yeah. he said that to others earlier too. You just didn't hear it. He no, was, I heard him <laughs> specifically. You're his favorite. What do we have here? What, what we got? So well, you know, trying to think of new and different ways. You know, lawn inflatables, front yard, whether it's the the nativity set made out of plastic or the blow up Santa is a big thing. And I was like, how can we do this? in a way that's more affordable, it's a DIY, and maybe a little bit more modern. And mm -hmm. I was looking at a, a Museum of Modern Art, and they, I saw their Christmas display from several years ago with these great illuminated modern trees. It kind of reminded me of Whoville. So we came up with this. Here they are lit up at night. Oh, oh. You know, Very simple, and these are so affordable. You really, you could do your entire front yard in just a sea of white trees. So oh. I really like that concept. So that, that's where we started. Okay. All right, so what materials do we need to start with? All you're going to need is um, two one-by-two two pieces of wood. They come in eight-foot lengths at your hardware store. It'll cost you about $4, $4.50, so that's about $9. And then a bed sheet um, and fabric scraps. That's it? That's it. Oh, That's you're it. Make a tree out of that, and you're gonna make a tree out of that. We'll show Grab it out of a hat. That. Yeah. So right. I started earlier today making our actual tree form. So you want to cut. You can get three pieces that are about the same size. Drill a straight hole through the center of one, and then the other two drill a hole at an angle. Just hold your drill bit to the side and go straight in like that. What you're gonna do now is just get a bolt with a wing nut at the end. Do it through your two angled pieces and put your the straight hole one in the middle. That's going to be your sta stand. Put on the wing net, stand it up, and then get your third shorter piece. That's going to be the bottom of your triangle. And I used an air gun here. You could use finished nails. You could use Gorilla Glue to get that bottom piece. Get your bed sheet, lay it out, and then all you're going to do is wrap it around in my good old staple gun. Staple that sucker in place. You do want to be careful about trimming it pretty close to the edge and the staples so you won't have any shadows when you get your lighting up there. Beautiful. And we can so, customize it. It can be customizable. It's customizable. I like to make mine like all different sizes. You don't want to get over here on that That's other okay. side uh -huh. there. Okay. Um, so that you so it looks like a real forest. But then also when it comes to, to designing your actual um, art on it, you're gonna say I'm gonna make sure here, everybody here. can see this. So um, what we're gonna do is I got fabric scraps. I chose like a blue organdy to fit with our whole frozen Christmas theme and I cut it into circles as you can see here and then I cut it into long strips and I'm gonna show you a secret here for cutting long strips because I was doing it with scissors and it was kind of a nightmare to get a straight edge invest in one of these little five dollar rotary cutters and all you're gonna do is put it down on your cutting mat and watch this oh genius straight down the center and you get Look at that. Perfect oh, pieces. Perfect. So, that's brilliant. That's my tip for the day. Um, so, Christina, you want to help me decorate the tree? Yes, I do. No, uh, no hooks needed. All we're going to do is get a little spray glue. We're going to get our, our circles, a little spurt. There you go. Stick it on there. And, you know, you can customize this. I, we're doing this in this, um, this blue-green, but obviously red would be great. Doing gold would be great. What kind of fruit would this be? Oh, uh, let's see, blue. I don't know. We have to get Dan on, to get Dan on it. There. <laughs> Dan Kohler out there here. Sure. Last one. I want to press out the air bubbles. And then what I did to make a um, to make a star, I just cut it out of foam core, a little spray glue, and of course, Mark, glitter. Glitter. And you're just going to glue or tape that. Is right. That going on Mark, the top? you're the, you're the tall guy. Wait, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And. Boom. Boom. There you Boom. Go. Now to light it, it is very, very complicated to light this. What you're going to get is um, one of these, lay it on the ground and plug it in. 